Alrighty, so here's Max uh, with another demo of uh, the fantastic software by Overload called TH3. Uh, it's not another review, I already made a review in the last video, but uh, when I finish the last review, I felt really bad because I didn't show you the high gain amps because I don't like them too much, but a lot of people do, so I thought it wasn't fair to not show them because they sound fantastic, they sound really good. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you now some high gain amps, at least one or two. Uh, but I don't want to make make it just like a review of that. I'm gonna show you how I use TH3 as well in the context of uh, my DAW, how I use it for recording when I'm uh, uh, sketching quick songs, when I'm composing. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Not proper mixing or proper recording of a song that takes days or weeks, but when I'm composing something really quick you're gonna see how I do it and it's very useful that the H3 okay so let's gonna look first for some high gain amp uh, here on the left you have uh, the banks and inside uh, each bank there's like a million presets uh, for sure all of them have some heavy metal uh, experience TH3 and the second one is full metal so we're gonna choose that one okay here's a super amp with a lot of bulbs inside a lot of tubes. It's called Heavy 51 Lead, which, uh, if it says 51 on the name, probably is imitating that uh, 5150 by Van Halen. And it has some uh, tube screamer on it, uh, the speakers, and a lot of uh, EQ that we're not gonna use. They're all off, and I'm gonna leave them like that. So let's hear how it sound. <laughs> That sounds really heavy indeed. I'm totally gonna put up a bit of uh, the volume. Okay. So I'm gonna record the rhythm guitars first. That's what I always do. So I'm gonna put. Uh, the tube screamer with even lower distortion, lower drive, a more level. They're gonna make it sound like um, instead of an overdrive, they're gonna make it work like a compressor. It's gonna give it more punch. I also have very low mids already. I'm gonna put a bit more, but not too much, because we wanted to cut through. And everything is more or less correct, so it's gonna go like that. <laughs> Okay, so usually what I do next if, is uh, I go to my drums channel and there's a program that I use, that's uh, my software for recording drums, it's Addicted Drums, which I recommend and it's gonna select a style, in that case metal and uh, it's gonna select by beats per minute by how fast it go, because I don't want to get something too crazy. I don't feel like <laughs> playing death metal, green core right now. So something I've been not too slow, but not too crazy. It's gonna get uh, uh, something around the 113 bits per minute. Let's gonna hear that one. That's nice. As you can tell, uh, there's uh, it's divided like in the main song thing, and then it's divided in the same, but in in bridge, chorus, intro, and verse. You see, so you can select uh, to play only the bridge of that drum part. As we want to do something really quick, I don't even gonna mix them or gonna do a proper song or nothing. It's gonna get the whole song, and. Um, I'm just gonna do something with that right away. I'm just gonna hear it again and see what I can play on top of that. I improvise and I didn't prepare nothing.
okay something like that will do I'm gonna put up uh, the volume of the guitar no because it will saturate I'm gonna put down the volume of the drums so I can hear what I'm playing it's a very loud plugin that uh, addictive drums so I'm gonna put it down a bit in the volume and then what we do is uh, we drag we just grab the, the drum loop that we like and we drag it into the mixer like that well the mixer the main screen and uh, you can see there's only those little dots are MIDI notes but they're sending the info to that uh, addictive drums plugin so it makes it sound nice it gives it the nice sound and we can do what we like we can loop it even make it even longer looping it I'm not gonna make it too long because one loop is almost a minute I'm gonna make it like a minute and a half that will do for now and we're gonna move it a bit forward so that's gonna give me a bit more time to be prepared when I start uh, recording so I can put up the volume on the guitar and all that <coughs> sorry about the background noise I forgot I have my volume up okay so we're ready let's gonna play some rhythm guitar on top of that oh wait there's something we forgot to do which is uh, if you notice uh, the drum loop was in in 113 beats per minute tempo so we should change that in our down as well so it gonna sound the same because it was by defect it comes 120 so it will be much faster okay so we're ready now I'm improvising and I just play in front of the top of my head I went totally out of rhythm so I'm just gonna try it again more or less right not perfect but anyway as we're doing a very quick mix right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm uh, gonna double that okay and we're gonna move to a different track we're actually gonna make a new track out of that why because if we leave it in the same track we're gonna give it uh, the sound from TH3 to that that we recorded so it's gonna be adding distortion to a distorted sound so it's gonna sound really bad so we just drag it to a new track and we're gonna name it rhythm guitar so we know what it is uh, 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 okay so what we're gonna do next next we're gonna play the drums and we're gonna use all oh, the drums the bass I mean and we're gonna use as well TH3 we're gonna be using TH3 for everything and what I do usually is I don't play the bass you could play the bass and it will sound fantastic but Usually when I'm recording something really quick like that, when I'm sketching new songs, I just use the guitar, I just octave it. And as I showed you in the last uh, demo, uh, TH3 makes a fantastic uh, work for that, it's a great tool for that. In TH2 you couldn't do it because the pitch shifter wasn't good enough, but in that one you can. Alright, so we're gonna move here, and as we're playing something really heavy metal, really dark, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select out of the two cabinets for bass that includes we're gonna select the 115 why because it's gonna sound way uh, lower and darker okay what we're gonna do 
So we open the menu for the cabinets. We're going to put up the volume on the second mic. And we're going to put it farther away. We're also going to move it a bit closer to the cone. We're going to put up the volume on the rear mic. That's going to give it a lot of lows. And we're going to put up the volume on the 45 degree mic. That's going to give it a lot of uh, definition. Ambience, I like the wooden room. Okay, so it's going to hear it. I cannot hear it. Something wrong with it. It went crazy probably, so I'm just gonna record it again. Here we go, TH3. Okay, that happens sometimes. Not to the <laughs> TH3 software, to all of it. It happens sometimes, in general. Okay. Alrighty, that's the sound that we selected. Nope. It kept the, all the cabinets, so we're gonna change it again. Yeah, just a second, it's very quick. Okay, and I wanted the ambience uh, wooden. Put up the second mic, put it further away, put up the rear mic, and that one. Fantastic. Let's go hear us the sound now. Super deep and nice. Okay, so let's gonna record the bass line now. Mm. The guitar track is too low and I cannot hear what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put it up. Okay. Double it again. We're not gonna record it again. Just gonna double it, it's much quicker. And we're gonna again drag that to a different track. So we can control the volume and all that. It's gonna hear us the sound. our guitar and now we're gonna record our pad and usually what I will do for the pads is I will go to that uh, plugin that I have that uh, MIDI guitar by Jam Origin and I'm gonna use Sample Tank or Omnisphere or some plugin like that I love Omnisphere by the way it sounds fantastic and I'm gonna use uh, that plugin to give uh, the guitar turn it into MIDI and give it the sound of the that Omnisphere or Sample Tank or whatever and use that for pads or for 
exotic instruments like flutes or guitar, or whatever. But as we demo in uh, TH3, I thought it would be nice to make the pads with the guitar as well. Because also, if I remember correctly, I saw some bank in here that it was for what's called pads or, or ethereal sounds or something like that. Number 13, Dimi Sounds Kitchen. Uh, that Dimi. Opa. Opa. And uh, number 19, there's uh, Dimi tones as well. That Dimi, what it means is uh, it's Dimi after Dimitar Nalbantov, which is a fantastic guitarist from Eastern Europe. That he's very talented and he's also been working with Overloud from TH1, I think, from the beginning. And he programs some sounds, he's really good creating distorted sounds and sounds like Steve Bay and all that. He plays like Steve Bay himself, so it's worth checking. But that's the one that I was looking for elusive atmosphere. So that should sound nice. Let's gonna try a few on the moon night. <laughs> Not quite what I'm looking for. Atmosphere evil, that could sound that could sound nice. That was horrible actually. That's nice, but it's not what I'm looking for. Sleeping dream. Sleeping nightmare. Whoa. Mm, kind of weird. That could work. This organ. Okay, that could work. So we're gonna use that for the pads. Gonna put down a bit the volume so I can hear everything. And uh, here we go. It's gonna record the pads. doesn't sound especially nice right now but it's because it was a bit too loud it was a bit too obvious so we're gonna drag it to a new we're gonna double it first no that's not what I want you go backwards there you go and we're gonna move to a new track okay Now we're going to put down the bowling a bit. Okay, it still doesn't sound too nice, but it's because everything is going to the same place in the mix. We're going to have to master a bit. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, wait, I'm going to first name that pad. So I know what it is. And I'm going to move the... Uh, the rhythm guitar is a bit to the left, or to the right, it doesn't matter, but in that case to the left. The bass will leave it in the middle. And the pad to the right, to the opposite direction of the guitars. Okay. Next, I'm gonna EQ a bit. Something really quick, I'm gonna use that plugin that includes Reaper. Re-EQ, which is really good. And I'm gonna use that presser that I have for rhythm guitars, which basically what it does is I cut the very highs and the very lows and something in the middle to make it fit in the mix I'm gonna do the same with the bass we're gonna EQ it really quick I also have a presser for that for the bass I also cut all the l very low frequencies which are useless and I do the same for the pad but 
I don't have a preset for that, I'm just gonna use that background vocals preset. That should work. See now. better. Uh, as an example I'm gonna show you how to sound with and without the EQ, just the guitar. I'm gonna solo it. I'm gonna put it more or less in the middle. That's the guitar without the EQ and I'm gonna play now the guitar. No, that was with the EQ, I'm gonna play without now. As you can hear the difference, uh, uh, it sounds actually nicer without the EQ, but it sounds better with the EQ in the context of the mix. You don't want your guitars to sound super amazingly fantastic. You want them to sound uh, good inside the mix. Okay, that's something important to know. Wait, that move a bit and I don't know why. Okay. Fantastic, so we have more or less our backing track here. If we want to have something to practice on top of, uh, instead of practice to the metronome or something like that. So what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna go back to this first uh, heavy metal sound, that we, high gain sound that we use and I'm gonna put up uh, the meets because we're gonna play a solo. I'm gonna put up the gain as well in the tube screamer and I'm gonna add some uh, reverb. Uh -huh, a bit more, like 20% and uh, we're gonna add a delay as well right after the reverb we're gonna put at a tempo of almost 700 which is what I like and that should make it wet enough and fluid enough for playing solos it's gonna hear how does it sound <laughs> Okay, that sounds nice, and I'm in tune-ish, <laughs> at least enough to play a quick solo, and I'm gonna record a little solo on top of that.
and that will do just to show you how it sound as you can hear it was uh, a bit too low in volume Oop. I don't know why it's two tracks selected so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna move it to a new track and I'm gonna put out the volume and let's gonna hear how it sound sounds good enough for a quick sketch for a song of course it's not proper it's not a proper song and we're not we weren't trying to mix it like a professional nothing like that but for composing that's what I do usually it's the quickest and more convenient way and as uh, you can hear was everything as you saw everything was done with TH3 it works for everything for the bass for the pads for the guitar for the rhythm guitar for the lead guitar for everything and everything sounds really really nice and really really good Okay, so that was uh, my demo. I'm gonna leave in the description a link so you can download the backing track if you like it and you wanna play on top. And also with the solo included, just in case you like it, so you can hear it <laughs> as much as you want. I'm gonna give it to you for free. So I hope you like it. And in that case, give me some likes and subscribe to my channel. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.